high for this time of year, 87 degrees. Monday, we topped out at 86. Yesterday, 92. Today, we should be in the upper 80s. And then the rest of the week, we'll see cooler temperatures on both Thursday and Friday as we see a cold front pass through both days. Currently, things are heating up out there this afternoon. 76 degrees at the airport, 77 downtown. And winds are light out of the northeast at 5 miles per hour. On the first alert, satellite and radar, calm, dry conditions statewide right now. And that warm, dry weather has prompted a red flag warning for the western slope. We could see wind gusts up to 40 miles per hour and humidity under 15%. This is going to cause very difficult conditions for those firefighting efforts for the Spring Creek fire outside of Parachute today as well as tomorrow. We also have an air quality health advisory for wildfire smoke. This runs through tomorrow at 9 a.m., stretching from Grand Junction all the way through Glenwood Springs. We're expecting heavy smoke in that area. As we fire up the first alert future cast, later today we could see the storms through Nebraska and Wyoming. Some of those storms could move into northern Colorado. They could turn severe. Now, it's not out of the question. We could see a rogue shower here in the Denver metro area, so keeping the chance at about 10 percent. But most of the wet weather should stay to the north. By tomorrow morning, dry, clear conditions statewide. But by about 4 p.m. tomorrow afternoon, that's when we could see showers return to the front range as well as the eastern plains. Taking a look at the severe weather outlook for today, we have a marginal to slight risk of severe weather for far northeast Colorado as well as down in southeast Colorado. We could see hail up to an inch and wind gusts up to 60 miles per hour today. And then tomorrow, the severe weather risk slides slightly closer to the Denver metro area. Again, we could see hail as well as very breezy conditions. Temperatures today, once again, here in the front range, going to be in the upper 80s. But down in southeast Colorado, we'll see triple digit heat, and that has prompted a heat advisory through 7 p.m. tonight. Tomorrow, though, we'll start to cool things back down as a first cold front moves through. We'll see temperatures in the upper 70s tomorrow. And then on Friday, we'll be in the low 70s. So a nice cool down by the end of the week. On the super seven day forecast, by the weekend, temperatures will bounce back into the 80s. Just a slight chance to see those isolated showers and thunderstorms both Saturday and Sunday afternoon. And then looking ahead to next week, Michelle, Independence Eve on Monday, just mm -hmm. a slight chance for afternoon and evening showers and storms. And then for 4th of July, we'll keep temperatures in the 80s, keep that slight chance for storms around, but overall not looking too bad. And into the first week of July, we'll stay in the 80s with a chance for showers and storms each and every day. So here's your Independence Eve forecast. If you're headed out to Civic Center Park, I know you're gonna be out there. Weather right now looks like it'll cooperate. 20% chance early in the low 80s. And by firework time, we'll be in the low 70s. That's just about perfect. Yeah, that's great, and great holiday weather.